Look at this car. Look at it. You want to ride in it, don't you? This is the Mercedes-Benz F015 concept car. It's designed to be the self-driving car of the future, and I'm talking 20, 30 or so, when you'll be able to tell your car where you want to go and let it worry about how to get you there. The F015 doesn't look like a geeky Google X experiment car. No, this looks like something out of the movie Blade Runner. Imagine yourself settling into this comfy captain's chair and using one of these massive touch screens surrounding you on all sides to interact with your friends, conduct meetings, watch movies, or play music. The driver's seat takes on a whole new meaning because the front seats turn to face the back passenger seats and a coffee table can extend out for snacks or games. Remember, all of this is happening while the car is driving. You can still control the car, even if you're socializing, because the all-digital dashboard responds to touch, hand gestures, and even eye movements. Eye movements! We were not able to test that on the car, but we did test the hand gestures, and it was really fun to just put your hand up near the dashboard and see the controls light up and move as you moved your hand. That was really cool. I know the F-015 is a concept car, but I do have to question the white color of the chairs. Unless this car is self-cleaning too, that will need to change in any real-world autonomous car. At least any one that I have to get into. But here's the paradox of the F-015 concept car. It assumes that in 2030, we'll be spending more time in our cars. That's why it's so beautiful and comfortable, like a sanctuary from the outside world. But do you want to spend more time in your car? Maybe not in the car you have now, but even in this car, how would you feel about that? When does time stuck in traffic become quality time? Or is it time spent being more productive because you don't have to worry about driving so you can hold meetings or pay bills or even take a nap? What was really interesting about the F-015 is that it made me rethink my whole relationship to the car. This wasn't a dumb machine that I was getting into to drive. This is a machine that I was getting into so that it could drive me. And that's an intriguing future to consider.